Welcome back. This is another session of fun with canvas or canvas with fun. In today's session, I will be showing you how to create these multiple tabs inside one canvas page where you can have one tab with the image tab two with text or paragraphs or tab three with text and your pictures. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I am in my canvas page and if you've been watching my videos before you know that we always use a little bit of HTML so I highly recommend and request you to go ahead and watch the videos so you have a little understanding of what we're going to be doing in today's session. So here I am in my rich uh, pretty HTML editor again I toggle between the rich text editor and HTML editor and all I have to do is go ahead and paste the code. The code will be given to you in the description box or the link will be provided where you can download the code. You don't have to memorize this but once the code's done I always like to explain what the code means so you can go ahead and make the changes required and that fit your need but now let's go ahead and see what the code does for us so I'm going to go ahead and save this code and as you can see the code has created three tabs and the content now you might say Bhavani how do I edit this so all you have to do is click on edit and here we will not be using the HTML or oh, you know what let's go ahead and use HTML it's much easier so I'm going to go ahead and toggle to my HTML editor I am going to go ahead and expand it and where it says put the title for tab here I'm going to say tab 1 and where it says put the title for tab I'm going to say tab 2 I'm just making sure I name my tabs and here is tab 3 and now if you want more than one tab or more than three tabs, all you have to do is copy this. So I'm going to control C, copy it and paste it. So three, four, five. Let's just say we have five tabs. Enter. And now because we have copied the fragments, we have to copy the divisions too. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, copy it, paste it once paste it twice and make sure the numbers match so this is tab 4 so this is fragment 4 and tab 4 and this is fragment 5 and this is tab 5 so this is again fragment 4 and fragment 5 so if you have five tabs it's 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 and now let's go ahead and see what we have there you go tab one tab two tab three tab four and tab five now let's go ahead and add the content for this you don't have to toggle to your HTML you can add your content from right here so let me go ahead and delete for the first tab I'm going to delete and I'm going to go ahead and paste a paragraph so control V did you enjoy the video so far? If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I will be making many more fun with canvas videos just for you. There you go. That's my first paragraph and I'm going to delete the second. Maybe here I want to paste a picture. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture. I'm going to insert from Unsplash. I'm going to say cat. I'm going to look for cats today. Uh, this is cute. It's kind of different but cute. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in and wait for that to upload. And if you think it's too large, go ahead, click on the image until you find those blue borders and resize it to the size that you want. That's a good size. For the next one, maybe I want a picture and text. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go ahead and paste some random text here. I don't want three paragraphs I just want one paragraph that's good enough and I'm gonna go ahead and paste another cat's picture I'm just gonna type in cats and this lazy cat looks like me I like that please make sure you wait until your image has been uploaded so once that's been uploaded I'm going to go ahead and resize it so you get the idea of how you need to go ahead and put in your information so this is for my tab 4 I'm simply going to say tab for info. The next one is tab five and say tab five info. And once you're here, you can always style your text. So I'm going to go ahead, 
change the color to light blue. I'm going to underline this in here. I'm going to change it to bold and I'm going to increase the size to 18. And once I'm satisfied, once I know I have all the information for my tabs, all I have to do is go ahead and save it. And now tab one, tab two, tab three, tab four, tab five. Now let's just say you want to go ahead and add borders to your pictures. You know how to do that by now because you watched my previous videos. I will go into the picture. Let's just say I want to add a border to the first picture. Let me zoom in. I will, where am I? I zoomed in too much. I'm going to go and click in between the image and source. I'm going to say style, S-T-Y-L-E. I'm telling you that I'm going to style it. Style is equal to B-O-R-D-E-R -E border colon two pixels. Where is it? Yeah. Two pixel. I want a solid border. The style is solid and I want the color to be black and semicolon and then there you go. So this is my border, two pixel solid, and the color is back. You should know this by now. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And then I'm gonna click on tab two, and there I have a border. And now I want a border for my third or, yes, yeah, second picture. All I have to do is go back to my edit, go to my HTML coding, which is right here. Go back to the image. I'm simply going to copy this style border black. Control C. Scroll all the way down until I find my image. And in between the image and the source, I'm going to give myself a space. Paste it. And instead of solid, I'm going to say double border. Instead of black, I'm going to say blue. And you know what? I will make it into a circle. I'm going to say border radius equal to, oop, not equal to, 50% semicolon. Again, all of this information is in the previous videos, how to change the borders for your text. And let me save this. Sorry, how to change the borders for your images, make it into circular image. So tab two, I have a border, tab three, there you go. I have a circular cat, a circle a image, a circular image with a cat and a border. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learned how to create multiple tabs in one page. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know there are educators who are wanting to learn more just because it's summertime and they can be ready for the next school year. I will leave a link in the description box below for my entire Canvas playlist. Do not forget to check them out and don't forget to comment in the comment section below. If this coding is too overwhelming, are you enjoying this coding? Let me know more so I can improve myself. Like always, happy teaching. Please take care of yourself and I will see you again in my next Canvas video.